All right, so last week we showed you how to uh, make a really cool uh, desktop background for your Windows computer. So today we're going to go ahead and work on this Mac here and we're going to show you what basically else? how to do the same thing. So pretty much you're going to use the program to set a screensaver as your background. Okay, so here's how to make a screensaver uh, as your background on a Mac computer. So for the Windows one, we know that the free program it came with can only do it with about four screensavers, but luckily for the Mac, you will be able to use this program with any screensaver that is already on your computer or that you download ever. So first thing you're gonna do is hop on Google and type in wall saver. And then it's the first hit here, download wall saver for Mac. Wall saver is a program which will allow you to um, run the screensaver as your background. Okay, and uh, once you get here, it takes you to Mac update site. Click on download now to 1.1 megabyte download. Comes over here in your download manager. Contains an, an application, just click continue. And there it is, you got the wall saver program right there on your desktop, you can open that up. And really simple interface right there. Okay, so pretty much once you have wall saver open here, you can just click activate. And there you have it. You've got all your icons, just your regular desktop with the screensaver going. By the way, to take it back to normal, you just have to click the restore button, and there you go. So, what you can do is go back over to the internet here, go to apple.com. I'm going to show you where to download a cool matrix code screensaver that can then be running as your desktop. From the, on the Apple site, go to downloads. And in the search box, type matrix saver. We want the second hit down here, matrix saver, which is a better one than 3D matrix code up there on top. Click on that. Click this download button here up in the upper right. Click continue on your download manager. And there you go. There it is, folder on your desktop. Pretty much, you want to copy that file, matrix saver dot saver, which is a screensaver file type, open up your hard drive, go to the library, and in there is a screensavers folder that you can pop that, right, copy it over into there. From there, you can just go through system preferences to change your screensaver to the matrix code, and just click activate. And you'll have the matrix code start streaming down. And what you can do, you can change the settings for this screensaver through the preferences, just like you would for any other screensaver. And what you can do is you can change the uh, speed of the code. You can change how crowded it is, like how m many lines of code there are. And also, by default, it rotates up and down the perspective and back and forth. I didn't like that because it didn't look like the code from the movie, so you can definitely turn that off. So it looks just like this. Um, so there you go. So um, for those of you who have been keeping up, um, SciStar, uh, there's a, a company uh, that builds desktop computers, just PCs, but uh, they can load them with not only Windows, Vista XP, uh, Linux or th I can actually they can actually put uh, the uh, Mac OS X 10 on the computer which is pretty controversial um, technically the uh, user agreements on when uh, the Mac OS 10 doesn't allow it to be placed on any computer other than Apple which kind of gives them a, monop a monopoly but at the same time it's their product so it's gonna take a little while in court to decide this one but uh, something pretty cool to look uh, look at it could be game-changing uh, we could be seeing seeing Macs from companies other than Apple so another thing that is sweeping the web right now is viruses that are being spread through Facebook 
Now, it's not Facebook itself, so as long as you're smart uh, about where you're downloading things from sites um, that might be linked to Facebook, which you shouldn't do at all, you will be fine. Because I guess this one that's going around right now is um, a pretty malicious one, which pretty much sends you a message that says that there's a video about you caught on camera on another website, and then you follow the link to that website, and it asks you to update your video software or something like that, and makes you download this malicious software. So basically, don't follow any links that you don't know what they're to from Facebook. Just don't do it. So in a nutshell, just use common sense. And if you do, don't download anything on that site at all. So another thing to look for uh, at the end of December this month, uh, rumor is that Walmart will begin selling iPhones, which now brings the count to Apple stores, um, corporate AT and T stores, Best Buy, and now Walmart. So there's also a rumor out there that Walmart might be selling a ninety-nine dollar model. Um, the model would. The rumor is the model will be a 4 gigabyte version. Right now there's an 8 and a 16. If you remember when the iPhone originally came out, there was a 4 gigabyte, but it was quickly discontinued due to its low popularity. So um, we're pretty sure that uh, I will be brought to Walmart. However, the $99 model, um, a little, little unsure about that one. And that's all we have for you this week. So have a good Christmas break. We'll see you in a month.